Hi guys and welcome back to another plot review. So we're here on dakacraft.nitrous.it. Uh, feel free to join us guys and, and you know check it spelled out for yourself and others around. Um yeah, uh we're actually here on, on the T World, which is the second plot you get. So after you've done a small plot you get one of these ones. And this is something awesome. Like this this plot is just I love different stuff different things. And this is actually a Maori Pa and a pa is like a fortified fortified town or like a Maori like Polynesian fort. I didn't know that until a couple minutes ago when I searched it, so there's my knowledge on it, but absolutely awesome for like creativity and just going, like oh, I'm gonna do a Maori thing. Freaking awesome. Brilliant idea. Um so yeah. This has actually been created by Mechanical Breezy. Um yep, Coastal Maori Pa during early <laughs> New Zealand European exploration. Oh, okay, New Zealand. I was gonna. I was trying to work, work do that as one word. Uh, anyway, <laughs> and uh, yep, tried making it realistic and accurate. It's, I think it's brilliant. I think it's awesome, actually. It's wicked. Oh, look at the tree. Look, he's used the mushroom head. Sweet, so good. Okay, so why don't we start off? So here we go. We've got a nice little thing. So like typical kind of huts. But he's used these, uh, what do you call them? The, the cobblestone wall stuff in, what biome is that in as well? I can't remember what biome that is. Let me just delete this. In the jungle wedge biome. Which gives you that thing. And it looks really cool. It looks like it's been carved out. Which is, I think is the idea. It's going to be the idea anyway. Right, let's go inside. So we've got like a, a hanging uh, cloth type of thing that goes out, out of it. This goes down. So simple little hut. Fishing, I would say. Uh, we've got some like furs on the ground, we've got some fishnets, nice and simple. Totally cool. Right, let's get into here. So we got another drop down, so is that the theme? They got like a totem as well. Cool. So stone base. Kind of top. It's like it's really weird, isn't it, that humans have this like typical thing if they're gonna live there for a while, they use it out of stone and things. I, I guess it's just the way it is. Um awesome path using the snow. Now I don't want to go up to the fort yet, but I might give a little fly around. So you get an idea. Look at this. It's so cool. I mean, it, like the terrain and everything is just really interesting as well. And there we go. That's like the fort part of it. Uh, of course, New Zealand is Middle Earth, as most people know. So, <laughs> yeah, it's like it just it just it, something about that looks Lord of the Ringsy. <laughs> I don't know if that's just that's just the Maori culture or not. Maybe that is. That's that path obviously goes off to 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 death, literally to death. Wow. Um, yeah, it actually does go off to death. That's people fall off that path of often, I'm guessing. Okay, but let's go down to the beach anyway. Let's go down here. So they've got some. So that's kind of cool as well. Look, they've got all the plants in here. But it's on a hill. You've got a rock in there. Got some like dirt snow in between. Like it's a bit of a bit rough. Um, that actually reminds me of Skyrim, around the snowy areas when they're planting like in their farms, and it's all a little bit, a bit like the terrain just feels rough where they're growing the vegetables. Same kind of thing. That's on a the hill. There you go. It's got that there. Let's go down to the beach, and this beach looks wicked as well. So they've got like a tie there, so they could, you know, bring a boat in, tie it up. That, there's no way that that's supposed to be like that. That's so got to be like that. Somebody has flicked these down. Naughty person. Um, otherwise that just looks weird. There we go. So they've got a nice little little boat type of thing there. What have we got down here? Oh, there's skulls. Oh, okay, we have got a problem at the minute where some of these are transferring back to skulls. We don't know why the custom heads, but those are most likely supposed to be fish. Um, I've got a seagull here. We've got a couple of these. These are fish trap type things. Either fish traps or they're for like things like crabs and all that kind of stuff, and they keep them fresh. Uh, but apart from that, all the underwater details, awesome. Um, the cliffs themselves, I love. Really good mix. A very, very dark rock. Uh, but the use of like gravel in certain places, and like every so often you get like one of these mossy ones. Just looks cool. Ooh. 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 Do you think I can go down there? Or is that cheating? It's technically cheating. Let's cheat. <laughs> I just want to see what's down in here. <gasps> right, well. This goes down. There must be another way in here then. Right, well let's not let's not explore too much, but already that's awesome. Oh, 
let's, let's put that back anyway. It's this one here. So, we're going to explore that cave that we've just found by mistake. Uh, anyway, we've got more stuff around here. Nice little bits of catchments of uh, like sand. A couple of rock pool topy bits around here. Um, but yeah, it's really good mix. I think it's like dark stone. It's a bit of the, uh, what's it called? Light grey stained clay, but in mesa biome. Um, just normal, normal hardened clay and a bit of the heavy gravel. It's cool. So we've got another one rock over here in a, in a stick as well. Look at that. And Ah, okay, this is where the cave goes into then. Haha, <laughs> okay. Now I might even grab the full torch, because I might do. So we're going to explore down here. Because I'll forget otherwise. So here we've got some emeralds. So they've got some emeralds there. So they're carrying those around. Uh, we've got another skull there. That might have been something else. But it might have changed over. So inside here. Let's go into this bit. Okay. What's in here then? It's quite a big cave. So this is like a... It's like a proper coastal cave. It just feels like with that rock. The one kind of ten in it. feels a bit like wet. Even though it hasn't got the dripping one. It probably could have done with a little bit of the, the one with water running over it. Let's go down here first. So that just goes down into a little water waterfall. Yeah, so it could have done, for example, with this one being well, that's useful. Uh, being like this one. The lapis block, which is what everybody always forgets. But having this one here, so it's got like a little bit of water running through it. Uh, I don't know what you guys think. I think I'd have had just a little bit of that around these areas, so it feels like there's a little bit of water like trickling through. Um, possibly, but let's go into here then. So we've got a mine. Ooh, I've got lots of ropes around. That's interesting, isn't it? Different stalactites. Perfect. And that goes into there. So this is where we got to. Aha. We found that little area. Look, you can even go all the way up to there. I like that. That's cool. See the exit, but not actually get there. So I think yeah, a little bit of the the running water would have definitely worked with that that block. But I do like yeah, that's cool. Using the mushroom grass, very very cool. Also, the green around here is if it's like the, the little bit of sunlight that it gets isn't enough. It's actually very, very cool. Oh, let's go around this corner. So we've got a dead dude. Got a weird plant in the pot. Okay. Maybe that's a religious thing. Possibly. And that goes down to there. Okay. That's cool. Stalactites. Let's go. Right, where did we come from? We came from up here, didn't we? Yeah, we came from up there. Let's explore down this way. Let's go down here, so we've got those. Okay, let's go down this one. This is quite deep. There we go, and that's why they're digging in there. Okay, cool. That works. And in here, we've got another mine. This is really expensive. There's a, there's a little addition to it, so I think that one probably is... That's going to be a buy-in problem. Found a buy-in problem. We fail. Miserably. Minus 10 points to Gryffindor. Anyway, um, we've got some mushrooms around there. That just goes around the corner. So they're just like digging around to try and find some. Uh, did we go down here? We went down there anyway. Okay, so that's that bit. Okay. And they got the ropes. Maybe that's just to hold them, like pull themselves up or something. I don't know. What's with the ropes? That's what I want to figure out. Right, anyway, let's go down this way. Down this route. And then this goes down into. These, they feel like wet caves, even though they aren't. But I think it could have done with a little bit more of that running water one. Then there's a dude that died here, and I think that might be another biome, biome issue. Thing is, the stuff that's above ground has to take priority. So there we go. Really expensive cave system that I didn't realise was in here. But I mean, that's extra detail for you, isn't it? I mean, it's good. God, that's a bit of a nightmare to get out of this. That's not too bad. I think there could have been a little bit of a clearer path up because it seems like there's bits of slabs and there's none. Um, there we go. That goes up to there. So I look around these. Still got that in my hand? Yeah. What we find? Pot starts on the other side. Okay, that's cool. Anyway, so we've got more stuff around here. And that's what I don't want to miss. And like this. It just it looks very cool terrain-wise. Right. Now that we've seen the terrain stuff, we can now keep on wandering. Let's switch over to the redstone torch. So let's go into the actual camp itself. So we've got, like, two big pole things. Using that, that type of, um... Yeah, like Aztec type of uh, of woody wood thing, woody thing, <laughs> wood thing. Uh, we got like a more of a big tent type thing here. Again, using like totem poles this time, a slightly different one. And here we go, got quite a dark area. Now this is a problem with look. Since I put down a torch, it will light up fine. It's really weird. But um, here we got that. 
keep that bright. So that's looking very cool. Got some more stuff around there. So got some weapons. There you go. What's around this side then? They've got a nice little seat there then. Cool. And let's go. Yeah. What's going on here? It's just the, the style of it. Yeah, it is. Cool. I actually really like that wall. It's different, isn't it? It's like really ornate and very like jungle wood coloured. It actually really works with the jungle wood like this. That block. It's cool. And then we've got another layer up there, obviously. As well as a bird. Excellent. So there we go. Another different style of these to do like the ornate wood. It's very cool. And then this drops down. So this is kind of like a stone. This is a, like a more of a in a cave type of one. Simple but very, very cool. Let's keep on going. So down here we get some sort of like hemp or something. Something that they're growing for clothes most likely, I reckon. I reckon it is. We've got that just on the cliff. That's, that looks really cool as well. So that's mixed. Uh, and then if we go up, go up the path. Oh, look at this. Nice big entrance. And then this. There we go. Nice fire. We've got a nice little head there. So some of these some of these heads are fine. Some of them aren't. But fire there. Pretty simple. So they're cooking something. And then let's go up into here. So we're through this entrance gateway. That jungle wood and that wood look just goes perfectly together. Let's go into this one. So this goes down again. Got a couple of little tents in there. Got uh, one of these rope things. A couple of spears. So this has got quite a lot of spears. And then that goes out into the back garden where we have this. And what is this? I don't know what that is. Birds? Birds, maybe? I'm not really too sure. And that goes up to here anyway. There we go. There's another one. Really good roof designs as well. Uh, they're simple, but they're they, you know, they've got the variation in them, so it looks awesome. All right, and then we got that one, and that's that's the bigger one. So let's go into this one first, the smaller one. Oh, another step down. <laughs> Felt a little bit of a violent step down, but it's fine. Uh, and then this is actually built into the floor here. So that's kind of cool. It drops down. There we go. And look at these trees. The trees are really good. Maybe do have a little bit more air, but. That's just personal preference, so... But that one looks awesome as well. Uh, no, the trees are really good, and then that path goes off. Really like that. Looks wicked. Oh, we've got a house down here as well. We've got some onions and things. Just hanging furs. So there we go. That'll just go off. But what have we got? We've got a couple houses. We've got this one here. Did we already go in that one? How do we get into that one? Not around here, so it must be up this way. We've got to have one of these things. What is this thing? That's what I want to know. Comment if you know what this is. Birds? It can't be birds. It must be something else then. Look at that. That's got to be the grand hall. So let's go into this one first. Let's go into the, the rest of it first to see what's in the hall. So we go, got another one. Simple designs, but they definitely work. And here we have the watchtower. So there we go. Again, that guard out there. How do we get up into the watchtower? I'm not too sure, but I like the mix of wood, how it's going up. Different bits. Ah, there we go. Rope up there. So you can get into, oh, you can get onto that floor, or you can go all the way up to the top. And a pretty good view, if you're up here, obviously, to actually look around. Really works on a little bits of detail around here. It's good. Got a lot of detail. Another fire as well. So this is, I'm sure I've heard about, is it Maori that do that, or is it just Polynesian people in, in general? When they um, cook certain things, like they can put meat into some sort of sack, of some kind, and then they put it in the ground, and they put hot stones around it. Is that this? Possibly. It's got, like, some potatoes in there. So it could be that. I can't remember if that is that type of culture. But I know that I've heard about that being done before by similar people around the world. Like, uh, yeah, so that's really cool. And then here it is. This is, like, the Lord of the Rings type of hall. <laughs> Definitely very cool, but lots of totems. Um, then in here, wow, look at this. I can actually switch over to that one, because it's very bright in here. So there we go, they've got the actual diamonds themselves. They've got guns as well. Wow, they've got guns. I didn't realise they had guns, but they could have guns. I guess they could get sold guns. Um, but I really like that, and I really like the pillars going up as well with the lantern. Got some spears, and we've got everything else in here, so it's pretty cool. In general, I actually really like it. I absolutely love the mix between the jungle wood and this, and it's just different styles are just so cool because you never see them before and this is just this looks really good like I don't know anything about the Maori culture not really um, except for that they play rugby ridiculously well but you know it, it just looks wicked it looks really cool it's really interesting style it's really really nice 
Um, so yeah, just well done to Mechanical Breezy. Awesome, awesome plot. Um, it's just it's so unique in, in its style, and I hope he does uh, more stuff on the server that's like this, like especially with this kind of detail and this kind of in-depthness about it. It's just absolutely brilliant. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you want to come and check it out for yourselves, feel free to do so. The address is dacacraft.nitrous.it. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Later.